Again, 17 News is your local election headquarters. 5 p.m. Wednesday, just a few minutes ago, was the deadline for contenders to declare their candidacy to run for Bakersfield Congressman Kevin McCarthy's 20th Congressional District seat. This was a five-day extension period offered because McCarthy, the incumbent, is not running for re-election. And as we've been reporting, the political scramble for McCarthy's seat is already getting messy. 17's Jenny Hutt joins us now in studio with the latest developments. Jenny? Anthony, there are new names in the race for McCarthy's seat, but I also have updates to the potential legal showdown we may see with Assemblymember Vince Fong's bid for that congressional seat. Kern County should never have allowed uh, Assemblyman Fong to even be sworn in for this race. Um, they, they, they should not have allowed it to proceed this far. A foreshadow of the legal jeopardy to come in Assemblymember Vince Fong's bid to take over Kevin McCarthy's 20th Congressional District seat, a decision perhaps made one step too late. Fong, seen as McCarthy's protege, said no, then yes to replacing McCarthy in Congress. Now there's confusion and looming litigation. Uh, we're prepared to file action against all the parties in this situation uh, that are taking part in it because it, it's just a blatant violation of the law. You know, Assemblyman Fong should, should be a little ashamed here about what he's doing to his constituents in the assembly seat. I mean, he's leaving them cut and dry. David Giglio says current elections bears a lot of blame here for approving Fong's run in the first place. McCarthy was the first to endorse Fong for Congress. And they're, they're advocating for the breaking of election salt and law. So I believe that that's, that's incredibly disrespectful, irresponsible behavior. Giglio's campaign is represented and endorsed by John Pierce, an attorney described as controversial with pro-Trump politics who has represented more January 6th clients than other lawyers. Pierce has represented far-right clients like Rudy Giuliani, Kyle Rittenhouse, and the Proud Boys. For the 20th Congressional District, as of late afternoon, besides Fong, Matthew Stoll, and Sheriff Mike Boudreau of Tulare County, as well as Nathan Wilkins and Kyle Kirkland of Fresno County, have declared their candidacy. Back to the 32nd Assembly District, Fong is unopposed in his re-election bid, and it's past the deadline to try to run against him. So, if Assemblyman Fong becomes Congressman Fong, his constituents may not have representation. It's a domino effect that can fumble the political ladder all the way down to local offices. Supervisors Philip Peters and Zach Scrivener were rumored to run for Fong's assembly seat should he not run again. While both confirmed with 17 News, they did not intend to, they wouldn't have been able to anyways. And Giglio says the launch of his lawsuit depends on the Secretary of State's certification of candidates. And when asked how he'll cover the what's looking to be costly legal fees, Giglio said likely with the help of a mix of everyone, meaning the higher ups of political parties, as well as small donor contributions. In studio, Jenny Ha, 17 News.